Yeah, so we're we're recording and basically like I just want to have a bit of an unscripted chat about yeah, our experience like working together. start off by like why why did you even want to start dude because i knew you ripped i I knew we had the same style i i've been digging the 80s metal stuff and i know it's like i've been buddies since high school so i figured i would reach out since i saw your post and you were like um you don't want to suck a guitar anymore i was like oh my god i don't want to suck a guitar anymore um so yeah that was that was the main thing uh we had the same similar taste in music and I kind of wanted to go towards that style with my playing anyway so um yeah nice man yeah and where was your playing sort of like when we first started when we first started talking to one another uh, it's kind of mediocre I was mainly just focusing on rhythm stuff but I just like as you know I always wanted to to do leads and uh, know what to do when uh, when a solo comes, um, as well as uh, writing my own stuff and applying what I've learned um, from other people, um, you know, like all the all the people that we've been basing our lessons off of, and uh, you know, put that towards my music. And I think that was the most important part. Is uh, I, I don't want to say stealing, but um, borrowing ideas from these guys, and making it my own. <laughs> Yeah, totally, man. Just to like uh, know what what it is you want to do over, and I mean those are all killer players. Like, which players specifically are you talking about? Satchel and and dude, he's the one that honestly Steel Panthers. The, funny enough, the man that got me like back into listening to that whole '80s metal era. It's it's funny like that of all bands, the one that's not part of that era and is kind of like parodying it but they're just so good at what they do it just kind of inspires you to be like holy shit, i kind of want, oh, i'm sorry can i say that um yeah. i, I kind of want to do that i so that ever since i started listening to steel panther it was like okay here's this band oh this song this steel panther song sounds like this actual song that was written in the 80s and it like connected the dots and it just like sparked my love for all that music you know dude nice man yeah because i remember like earlier you were much more into like asking Alexandria and like much more hardcore bands and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's awesome because I, I remember when we did end up working together, you had like your 16th notes were really solid on rhythm and everything. And then, like I've mentioned a couple times already, it's like you're an astounding musician to start with. Like you, you understand rhythm because you drum and stuff and you understand melody because you sing and so i think like a really in-depth question would be why is it that you went with a coach rather than like just sort of figuring this stuff out on your own well mainly because i've tried I've tried doing the whole YouTube thing. I've tried just like watching those those uh, tutorials, like saying how to get better guitar guitar now, or like use this lick to really open up the fretboard, you know. And like 
that stuff was cool and everything, but I mean, it didn't really help me understand. And that's the big thing. Like, that's the big word is understand what I'm doing. And I feel like having a coach really put me more on a hands-on position rather than like trying to figure out stuff on my own, because there was a bunch of stuff that I had no clue what, what I was doing. Like I barely even knew what the pentatonic scale was, you know, <laughs> like yeah. I, I knew what it was and I just, I only knew the, the position, the A minor position at the fifth fret. Um, and that was it. I didn't, I didn't know there were different shapes for that. I didn't know that the minor scale had different shapes. I thought it was all the same thing. And the rest, you know, I'm going off on a big tangent, but that's the main thing is the biggest thing that helped me with you, with you coaching me was literally understanding how to play guitar rather than learning the basics of what you can do with the guitar, you know? Yeah. It's all about understanding the instrument to me. Okay. Yeah, awesome, man. So you you tried a couple things, like you tried YouTube and there was other videos that, that were like claiming like this these three this simple fix or something like that. I and was a fucking musician and that was that didn't last very long. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it I didn't learn anything from that. Got it. So when you were doing like YouTube and musician, like what were some of the uh I mean what made it like hard to learn from? Because I'm sure they're awesome platforms. They're great. Yeah, they're, they're really good. It wasn't necessarily hard to learn. And I think that's the big thing is like there was really no challenge. It's like they give you the lick. They give you the tabs. And that's it. You know, like they don't tell you where you can put this lick and how you can move it around the fretboard, how you can. They don't explain the in-depth, like the multiple possibility you can do with that lick. They just give you that lick and expect you to find it yourself and i don't know I don't, I don't think for beginners in that respect is a very good approach um but again they're literally just it's not their fault it's it's on me because i it's hard for me to learn like that sure I'd be guiding me through um all the different uses of these shapes and uh scales and everything awesome man. yeah i totally understand and like i agree with like the way that i learn music as well and stuff but um yeah the biggest thing there is like you said the application because i mean it's it's great to learn a lick i've sort of found this in my own experience like learning jazz and stuff it's like like it's i just wanted to learn all these jazz licks learn this jazz lick and i thought through osmosis like i was gonna literally learn how to play jazz but when it came to actually like saddling up and now applying all these licks to a standard that you know changes key every measure like i could maybe maybe get through the first four chords or something, you know? And yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's awesome. That's awesome. I'm glad um, I was able to help you a bit with that. So where do you feel like you are now? I mean, like you started out, you said to me, and you can elaborate on this, like, I want to be able to apply this stuff to my own music. I want to rip sick licks like Satchel and Eddie Van Halen. And yeah, go ahead and like elaborate on, on that if you like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean... I've, it's kind of like, you know, I didn't really pay attention much in school, but when I watch these dudes, like, it's kind of like I'm studying, I'm, I'm studying what they're doing, and it's just like, wow, how do I do that? And then, like, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not at the level where you're at where you can literally just say, oh, let's go to 75% of this video, the speed, let's go down to 50%, I'm just gonna listen, I, like, I'm not there yet, um, so I figured maybe understanding this stuff and I, I i'm going back to that again understanding what i'm doing so i can maybe um like you taught me so many licks at the beginning where it was like oh my god i've heard that lick so many times in one of these dudes solos now i know how what he's doing there and i can maybe that'll help me with learning by ear you know like it's yeah like one of those things like i can only go so far just watching them and learning uh from the internet rather than having somebody guide me through that stuff and being as you know literally what you're doing you've played these solos before you've i've seen you perform a multiple of these van halen songs back in high school i was like he knows what he's doing so <laughs> like why wouldn't i go to you you know <laughs> sick thanks man but uh yeah it's it's funny that you mentioned like ear like learning by ear and everything because i mean that's exactly what it is i didn't start out with a great ear and I can't imagine that like the majority of musicians do 
Uh, in fact, like my ear, I know for a fact was horrible. And, you know, just from learning, like the theory helped me so much. It like bridged so much of the gap between like the first couple of notes I could make out and then like the the remaining portion of the measure or, or the 16 measures or whatever it was, you know, and just like, and just building on that o over the years, you know, feel like the ear comes after that. But yeah, I, I totally, like, I remember what it was like learning, trying to learn like Cliffs of Dover or like trying to learn Sweet Child of Mind Solo or anything like that. When I was like 13 and I didn't have any ear, you know, like how, how grateful I would have been for someone to, you just kind of say like these are the mix, you know, and like hand them yeah. to me on a yeah. sil silver platter. So but the thing is, like, I, before I was uh, working with you, I've I've also been my, like tabs were my main source of learning songs. Yeah, and you know, most of the time, if not all the time, those those are never right. So it's um, just, it just sounds stupid when I try to transcribe what what's going on on the tab, and then I play it to the song, and I'm like that's not right that doesn't sound right and then you, f you find out that you you actually watch the players play it live or something and then it's completely different and just like well now what do i do so i figured somebody again like that that can listen to this stuff and really analyze what they're doing that would be better to learn from than reading from somebody else that's randomly putting notes on a piece of paper you know <laughs> yeah um dude i totally agree with you there i remember like I don't know if you know this song Headstrong. Can't even remember the band right now, but it was like super like skinhead, really. Uh, <laughs> do you know this song? I'm Trapped. Yeah. 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 I, I know dude, that. That, <laughs> that song ripped. And I was like, dude, I wanted to learn that song so bad. It was my favorite song on my freaking iPod Nano. And, uh, and like, I looked up the tabs and it was like, Dude, it was so, so, so bad. I think when you're a yeah. kid, like, maybe you miss subtle details, like, you have to have this tuning, or, like, mm -hmm. I don't know, but the tabs don't, like, they don't, they're better nowadays, they are, but yeah. still, um, um, yeah, I see what you mean. I'm not just, I'm not just trying to, like, bash everything else right now, coaching is God, <laughs> but, like, I mean, you know, like, if, if there's something that like say you taught me if i want to go past that I'm, i'll i'll obviously reference some tabs see what they're doing and then can like yeah. you know honestly I, I take what's most comfortable what like say there's something weird going on um that i'm playing and then maybe somebody else is doing it a different way you know i i'll, I'll yeah. take it the, i'll take the easier route you know as long as it sounds the same you know Thank you, man. So earlier you mentioned like some licks that you have heard before like a bunch of times, but now it's like, oh, it was it was that simple, like that lick that I've heard a million million times. So uh, my question is, are you now actually able to apply this stuff that we've been working on to to your music like in the foreseeable future and, and then like beyond that? Oh, definitely, dude. Like even just knowing the fact like the, the different shapes like different positions and everything on the net, on the fretboard that gives me that that literally opens so many things up for me um just i know we talked a lot of things we've talked about was to more focus on the feel so like it's it's not all about the shredding all the time which is another mindset i had um back before like pretty much my my whole life before i started actually getting serious about guitar <laughs> um and it's like uh, I never realized that the stuff that really stands out is the stuff that, like, the big bends and everything, the, the like, massive vibrato, or, you know, the, just the notes that they hold out and the re repetition of things, those are the things that stand out. And the, um, going back to um, some of the licks, like, I would have never guessed in, in the, the Steel Panther, the, the Fat Girl solo, that little, uh, uh, that just... I did not know that it was literally just a pentatonic run down the, the, yeah. the thread. Like, I had no clue. It didn't sound like that to me. And then I played it, and I was like, well, here we are. And so I, understanding it, it that can help me, you know, I'll borrow this from that. I'll take that from that, and, and I'll know what to do, you know? Yeah, and then on it goes, literally, because, you know, you find your own sort of pentatonic lyrics that, that are sick. And, you know, like, 
so far down the road, like you kind of forget where they even came from. It's just kind of like, oh yeah, this is like my lick. Like I do that, <laughs> even though, I mean, that's the same the guitar playing all over the board. It's like, everyone's going to go back to pentatonics. Like everyone's going to play pentatonics, but they're going to play it in their own sort of cool way, you know? And that's, that's what we were working on towards the end there is getting like your vibrato, you know, however you wanted it and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And I was, watching over those videos uh with your progress on speed and stuff and like at the end you're doing this big vibrato and stuff and i'm sitting there just like yes man Yes, dude. Yeah, I did. Honestly, I was, I was scared. Like before, before I started, you, you talked about Verada and everything. I was scared. I was gonna break the string, but then I forgot. Oh, it's Floyd Rose. Because I'm very new to Floyd Rose, um, uh, so I was like, I, I never thought to bend the string that much and be that aggressive, but it just adds so much character to the to the sound. And I'm cool. glad I know that because that that'll definitely stand out more. Totally, man. Um. Dude, this is the part where you could totally bash me if you want. I mean, what what would you have done differently with the coaching, or what did you not like about uh, us working together? I mean, I don't really find any negatives of it. I just, I don't know. I can, like, I definitely want to keep going. I'll, I'll tell you that now. Like, um, sick. I there's so many endless possibilities I can I can open up with because. The, Literally, there's things that I had no clue. Like, I still have a lot of things to learn about the arpeggios. That's still something that's kind of getting me. Um, but, but again, like, it's not your fault. It's me. Uh, it, the practicing is on me. So there's literally nothing negative I can say about um, about our lessons. You know, it's. I felt like it was catered to me, but I know it wasn't. Well, I, I guess it was, but it's it, it also helps that we have the same music taste and that we have the same style that we're going for, you know. Definitely, definitely. So I think it, it just works, you know. Yeah, uh, I mean, like there's there's no denying, and obviously, like I did I did want to make sure. Uh, by the way, thanks for the compliment and everything. But you know, obviously, I wanted to make sure when you were talking about Eddie Van Halen, like. Um, in that one video in particular where you were just like, man, these licks get me going and stuff. Like, I wanted to make sure, of course, we were actually like uh, co yeah. <laughs> co covering the things like you were excited about. But yeah, obviously, I mean, in, in this specific niche, like heavy metal, that's where I can probably help you. Yeah, that's 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 another good part that I, I can bring up is that you really pushed me into like out of my comfort zone. Like with that whole sweet picking arpeggio thing that you that you put together for me, I was like, it still fucks me up. So like I honestly, I'm still not I'm not not up to par with that. But it's just like, it, I'm glad you did what you did. To like get me out of the the just the basic stuff that I I wanted to learn, um, because again that opened up my knowledge and it just get, makes you more creative when you're more well rounded with all that kind of stuff, even though I wasn't really, um, I didn't mention at the beginning what I wanted to achieve was like those arpeggios, those crazy sweet picking things, but it definitely helps. Like, especially yeah. when, we, when we did that, the play with me solo by Extreme, um, that one, that little sweet picking arpeggio at the at the very end. Yeah. I wouldn't have known how to do that if we didn't talk about the sweet picking in the middle of our, um, I guess, sessions. Yeah, it's, dude, totally, man. It's uh, 
And I'm, I'm glad you brought that up and because I remember at first you were like, I don't know about these sweet picking arpeggios. Sounds a little too neoclassical to me. I'm just trying to rock, dude. And I was like, I've had to say this to like a couple of guitar players too. It's like, it's not the technique. Like don't diss the technique. It's how you use it, you know? So like you can use string skipping or like some sweet picked arpeggios in a really like david gilmore way you know it'd probably be a bit slower or something but yeah man it's it ultimately came down to, to you and yeah um there i wish i could like replay and figure out what it was you said that i wanted to say something about but uh in any event i'm just i'm just stoked that you're stoked you know and yeah uh i oh yeah i think i, I was saying that like i appreciate you saying that for anyone who's like potentially watching this you know if you were a jazz musician or a country guitar player like sure i could i could help you but in this like specific niche it's like playing like classic rock solos or like heavy metal solos i mean that's that's my jam dude and that's like <laughs> and that's why it worked out so well that you know we were we're gonna work together so i mean did you have anything else to add or uh because uh, yeah at this point if not uh i could probably wrap it up so was there anything more you had to add or just like want to say or anything i mean no i i feel like we touched on everything um thank you for, <laughs> for okay. that that's it was it was definitely it was difficult uh it definitely got difficult but i, I don't think i've ever been more frustrated than when i kept having to redo that eyes of a panther run that was literally the most irritating thing because it's so simple but i just could not get it you know um but you know you pushed me to do it and I, it just those little things that you did to um maybe because i remember i just could not get it all the way through so you're like let's cut it in half let's do this first part and then once you got that let's do the second part. And it was that second part that was getting me. So you created this, like, like your own lick based on what he was doing with that. And then made me, and I think that that was part of the videos. It was that, that little, uh, I don't even, whatever. Um, <laughs> regardless, you, yeah. you, you like, you created ways for me to practice that rather than just keep doing the, the lick over and over again. You created like little exercises for me. And I thought that was really sick because, again, I can't get that out of a YouTube video. And I sound like, I know I sound like a advertisement for you. Like, I, I just keep praising. I'm sorry for that. But I, it's just like, I'm, 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 those are the things that I really found that was cool with this. It was like, you really put the time in um, to help me understand what's going on with this. Dude, thanks so much, man. And yeah, no, no apologies necessary. I'm sure, uh, you know, anyone potentially watching this, like, a lot of people are resonating with the same sort of thing. Like I hear sort of uh, similar things come up, you know, and that's, that's what's perfect about it. So yeah, if, if you are someone watching this and you feel like you resonate with some of this, what you can do is click the link below. You can fill out the application and then book the exact date and time for you to speak with me personally about where you're at with your guitar playing and where you want to go. And, um, and yeah, dude, Chris, I want to thank you for your time. Thank you for, uh, you know, going going through this process and, and ultimately making yourself a much better guitarist. Um, yeah, I, I'm just excited to see like your new tunes or your new. Uh, I don't know. I I know that you're kind of exiling social media right now, but maybe when you get back on, <laughs> uh, sharing some of your playing or just sending me yeah. some of your playing in the future and everything. I'm just so yeah. psyched to uh, yeah, to see what's next. Cool, so, dude. Yeah. Thank you for everything, and I'm looking forward to, to continuing this. Sick, man. Yeah.